Nicholas, now that you're married, we can talk about something that wouldn't have been appropriate before. Thanks, Grandpa, but I'd rather not. Your grandmother and I have been having relations for 45 years and counting. It's a wonderful gift from the Lord, if you use it right. Sir, just heard the new orders. Are we really deploying May 19th? Yes. I'm getting married on the 18th. If we leave on the 19th, and I'll miss my honeymoon. Well, those are the orders. Are you ready? Yes. What do we do? There's got to be a barn or something around here, right? God will provide. Maybe he already did. Maybe we're not supposed to stay here tonight. Getting to know someone new is not what we expected for our wedding night. Unexpected benefit. How did you come to meet this untalkative gentleman? What are you reading? The Bible. Is that for class? No. It's not for class, then why read it? Who are you? I need to write back after my work in Fendel's to read. What could possibly be so important? Fulfilling my father's dying wish. We'll just go to a hotel in Ferndale. I don't have my wallet. I have to give Grandpa a bath now. Whoever you are, you ruined my night. Do you think he doesn't want us to have sex nope. tonight? Are you sure? Very sure. Why? He wouldn't do that to us. Why don't I go get your wallet from Daddy? You don't want me to come? What about your brother? No, he won't help. Is there anybody else? Your dad. What is wrong with him? You said he was a nice Christian man. This is not the behavior of a nice Christian man. In the woods. Like Adam and Eve in the garden. Oh! Why are you doing this? Someday, we'll look back on all of this and laugh. It'll be a funny story to tell our kids. What kids? How are we going to have kids if we don't have sex? I just wanted to say that you look more beautiful today than anything I've ever seen. Liam, you don't have to wait with me. You can go wherever you're going. Nonsense. No one should be alone on that wedding night. 